Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, you know, I like being raw and transparent when I do my videos. So please understand today you're getting it as good as it gets. Okay, um, I've noticed over the past, let's just say two weeks, there's been a really big shift in energy. Have you noticed it? Um, it's to the point where I'm actually saying that we're all getting attacked. So today I want to give some examples of what's going on. And I'm also going to identify some possible reasons why this could be happening. <clears throat> I personally have been physically assaulted in my sleep. It was last Monday night. I don't need to go into what happened but please know I do have photographic evidence of what happened. So the markings that I woke up with after this really crazy dream, <laughs> that was a week and a half ago. And this week what I've been noticing is things like I'm on edge. I feel like I've got a bit of paranoia happening where I'm just spidey senses are going ballistic. Um, I'm having weird sensations like shivers. Like today it is cold here. They're saying that it's 20 Celsius, but it feels like it's six. Okay. I've got three la layers of socks on and my um, sheepskin. Look at this. I've got my sheepskin Ugg boots on and my pajama pants. Yes, they're red because it's my favorite color. <laughs> um, but I've also got on four t-shirts and a jacket and my gloves. So today's weather is not what I call natural. I, I'm not going to say it's unnormal. I'm going to say it's unnatural. There is a big difference there, and I hope that you understand this, okay? So, me personally, it's almost like I'm out of my skin. My energy's here, and my body's here. It's, <clears throat> it's like I'm not connected with myself for the past few days. I got an email. Um, actually, I got three emails just this morning that I've just been replying to. One said, holy sheet. What am, what's happening to me? <clears throat> she goes into detail about how she's sleeping all the time. I personally had a three hour day sleep on Monday and I had a two hour day sleep on Wednesday. Highly unnatural. Okay. It's not normal at all. It's unnatural for me to have like five hours sleep extra in a week. Um, so she said in her emails that she's sleeping, she can't move. When she gets up, she's getting all this anxiety and heart palpitations, like she's overtired. The next lady that commented that has sent me an email, she said, oh my God, it's like I've got someone following me constantly. I, I'm a psychic myself and I know that it's not a spirit or a ghost or another entity or else I'd sense it, but I've just got this overwhelming feeling feeling that someone's watching me like a remote viewer type situation the next one says I can't sleep every time I go to sleep I'm having these wild vivid dreams you don't want to know the dreams I've been having for the past week okay so what is this that's going on and then we hear from the lovely Anna Knapp, who lives in Wisconsin, USA. I'm in Brisbane. This is the story that she told me this morning. She said last week she went to bed. <coughs> She's got a queen size bed. She sleeps on one half and the cat sleeps on the other half. She said through the night she woke up with sleep paralysis. She could not move. Her cat stood up and it started growling at something. Then she felt something sit on the bed next to her. <clears throat> she could feel the weight of something sitting on the bed. She then said she started praying to Archangel Michael and the paralysis left. Now that's important because I'm going to go there in a minute with that one. 
And then she said she went back to sleep and she had a really weird, lucid dream. She said, it was like I was getting beaten up by all these people, which is ironic because that's what happened to me last Monday night. She said she was getting beaten up in her sleep. She woke up, saw all over, like she'd been beaten up. But the, but she had no physical bruises or marks, but the cat was growling when she woke up. So she got up and she saged the house. <laughs> Good suggestion. So then we've got other people who are having really over-exaggerated emotions are coming out one friend of mine just spoke to me and she said the grief that she's going through from a lost relative is overbearing even though in this relative died eight months ago she said my god yesterday i was in the chair all day just crying uncontrollably with grief overcoming her <clears throat> so what is it guys I want your suggestions. I want your comments below. Okay, let's discuss this and go back and look at other people's comments because you may have the clue to somebody else that comments, right? So it's not just about me today. So we've got all these suggestions of what could be causing this. Let's go there with some of the list. First of all, we're going through a really weird moon phase. Is it the moon that's affecting all our emotions? Could be. Number two is the meteorite shower. We've just gone through a meteorite shower, believe it or not. Here in Australia, we couldn't see it because we're so under the cover of um, weird, unnatural cloud formations at this point. Is it a comet? Because there is a comet coming through our solar system. So is that the thing that's affecting all our empathic abilities here where we're detecting the energies around us? Is it our empathic um, feelings is this only happening to empaths is it only pe happening to the people that haven't had that medical procedure still in clinical trial is it those that aren't getting affected let's debunk this guys the next one we're going through solar flares now i do follow a guy on youtube who just follows all the solar flares we've had some doozies over the last two weeks so what does that do to our air quality etc Mercury's in retrograde at this point again again I always go cray cray in Mercury retrograde because it's so unpredictable and unexpected what could happen okay is it that aliens are coming down <laughs> aliens do 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 nanu nanu type things <laughs> you know nanu nanu Mork and Mindy is it the energy that they are bringing in to our um, atmosphere where it's changing us and we're all waking up and we're just like di, 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 with all our spidey senses going ballistic? Okay. The last one on the list is 5G. So could it be now that that network is now starting to get out there, is that doing something to all the empaths, psychics, mediums and all the rest of us spiritual people? So... Oh, and the last one I've also got is the photon belt. Now, I've researched the photon belt. We actually entered it back in 2012, ironically, when the Mayan calendar ended, because they knew it was coming. And the ones who are in the spiritual realm, go and research it. Photon belt. Um, <clears throat> it could represent that that veil is dissipating, disappearing, whatever you want to call it, going invisible. Okay where we are now seeing other things that don't usually occur. I was talking to Mike Cavalli yesterday before we started our show. And I said, mate, I saw through a door today. He said, what? I said, it's one of my doors. I went up and the whole door went transparent. I could see through the door and what was on the other side. And as soon as I turned away and I looked back, it was gone. So I could not control that. But that's just one of the things that just it, it happened to me, okay? So we are getting all these downloads of, is it information? Is it energy? What's your thoughts? Comment below and tell me what you think. Then we get a comment like in my group, Dr. Linda Kramer Paranormal, that's on Facebook. 
one of the ladies in there commented and she said, my God, I haven't been out of sleep for two weeks. I feel cray cray. I'm having these really lucid dreams that don't make sense. Am I going crazy? No, you're not, darling girl, because we are all in this together. Look at me today. I am freezing. I am bundled up like a damn Eskimo in minus 50 Celsius weather. They're saying it's 21 here today, but it's not because I've got all these layers on and I'm still shivering and it's 10.30 in the morning. So it should be nice weather now where I can go outside at least with just like a t-shirt and a light cardigan or something on when it's 21. But look at me, I'm done up like a damn Eskimo. I am freezing cold, which is not, I am a cold-blooded person. I do, I don't like the cold, but today I'm really feeling it. So what are your thoughts, guys? Comment below. My email is also in the description if you don't want to make this public. But I'm happy to receive your emails where you say, my God, look what happened to me. Now, some guy um, commented on me on um, Facebook Messenger. So it was a private chat. You can find me there too under Linda Ray, R-A-E. Okay, L-Y-N-D-A-R-A-E. So if you want to message me on Messenger or email me, my email's below. But he contacted me and he showed me some photos where he's got all these scratches down his legs. They're not normal scratches. So we're all getting attacked by something. Now, my friend said to me the other day, she said, what's your biggest fear with this, Linda, with what's going on? And I said, I'm not really scared of it. But what is most intriguing me is who is doing this? Because once we work out who is doing it, we can work out why they are doing it. Okay? And it appears to me, because I've got people in all demographics and all different locations, you know, different age, different sex, whether they've had that medical procedure or not. So I'm trying to debunk this. And I'm talking to a lot of different people all over the place, just asking, Hey, how you been feeling this week? And it's weird because a lot of them in a certain demographic, like a certain category, they're all saying, I'm tired. I'm so fatigued. I don't want to get up. I just want to sleep. And that's been me all week too. Now you can tell there's nothing wrong with my breathing because I'm talking in sentences without needing to pause for a, for a breath, right? So it's not a breathing situation so we can eliminate that FLU right we can eliminate that because it's not that because that's a respiratory disease right illness but I can't say it's that so we've got to look at all these other possibilities of what could be affecting our energy so I'm going to put it into your ball court guys if you've had a weird experience and you don't want to say too much just comment the word yes just comment yes, that you agree that this is happening. If you want to go into detail and you're happy for other people to read it, because then other people could come along and they could comment, oh my God, I've had the same thing. So that's all you've got to say, I've had the same thing. So it doesn't disclose too much because at the end of the day, we don't want the black vans at our door, right? So that's why I'm not telling you what happened to me last Monday night. But I have got physical injuries that have been documented in photographs okay and they're all time stamped on my phone and they've been sent to other people so they've got the evidence too just in case my evidence goes missing because that's what they do right especially if it's that um ufo type situation coming down right we don't want the we don't want the the black vans turning up at our doors right going away to the dumbs deep underground military base has and then you're never heard of again so I've got to be a bit careful with what I say if you do want to know what happened to me last Monday I have got photos you're welcome to them so please email me at linda at lindaray.info um, if you do have a story of what's happened to you over the week please comment it please go into Dr Linda Kramer Paranormal the, the link is below to join my Facebook group 
you just say yes to all the questions please so we know that you're not a spammer or a robot right so come along so I'm going to post this video in there to get a conversation started about what we're all going through it's weird <clears throat> so let's go there <clears throat> how do we prevent it how do we stop it in its tracks <clears throat> first of all I've got to go there with a meme I saw okay where did I write it down okay it's a little meme it's in my group Dr Linda Kramer Paranormal on you on Facebook and it's a cat sitting there and he says I wrote a little song about my spiritual awakening <laughs> I wrote a little song a little ditty about my spiritual awakening and it goes like this <laughs> waking up is not fun guys you know spiritual awakenings are never good it's like a roller coaster ride we're going up we're going down then we go up again so we were all having that in the last couple of weeks okay so how do we stop it first one we've got to identify that whatever's happening is not us it's external to us it's not our energy so as soon as we say to ourselves whatever this is on me it's not normal it is not natural to be part of me nick off now you have no right no permission to be on me i give you no consent and no permission to stay on me i cast you out you must return to where you are from bang that's a good one second one you can do your singing bowls you can raise your vibrations listening to your favorite music and doing your air guitar like you're on stage with your favorite band that's a great one go and have a salt bubble bath well bubbles won't come up because it's salt but you can either have a bubble bath or put in natural salt you don't want chemicals in there okay I use the rock salts myself okay sea salt is the best one that I use so you just put some into your bath relax for a while and you just meditate and think about yourself and all the other energies on you must go away okay if you've got your 528 tuning fork I've got mine here so you might want to pull this one out if you've got one they're only $20 on eBay this is how you get it in a little bag you've got your little hammer and you've got the 528 tuning fork 528 tuning fork this is the body's natural healing frequency so <clears throat> you dong it with the donger hear that so now you put it all around your head okay so that's what goes through my ears I'm using my microphone okay so you can hear it <sighs> raises you up okay I like using this with water so I'll just put this down I've got a glass I only drink 100% natural water no chemicals inside it no fluoride so you give yourself a little glass of water okay you dong your donger you hang it all around the water or you even put it into the water see how it makes it all splash do that a few times to really get him going so now my water is energized and guess what you do you drink it oh, because now that 528 tune um the 528 healing energy is going into us this is now when I go and meditate this is now when I go and play my favorite song this is now when I go and use my singing bowl this is now when I go and do all the other raise your vibration exercises this is when I go and have a sleep and before you go to sleep I always put out the rules of what I want and what I don't want when I'm asleep I do not allow nightmares to come into my um, subconscious state I do not allow or give permission to any entities or foreign spirits or ghosts to attack me while I'm asleep I do not give permission or consent for anyone to come near me whilst I sleep I call in the Archangels <clears throat> now we go back to what happened to this lady with split sleep paralysis what did she do she called in Archangel Michael he is the warrior he is the strength 
So if something does go on, guys, all you got to do is look up to the sky and talk to him like he's in a different room, like you want a cup of coffee. But instead of saying, hey, can you make me a cup of coffee? You say, hey, Archangel Michael, please come down. I need you today. I am being attacked. I am being abused by somebody. I do not give consent or permission for this to occur. Please come down and fight my battles. Take this away. Immediately take it away. They hear every prayer. Remember that. Okay? They certainly don't want us attacked by anything nasty. So, of course, they're going to come in. Okay? So, call out to your angels. Okay? Call them in and say, you know what? I've got this thing. I'm going crazy. Look at how I'm dressed today. I hope you admit, I hope you like my honesty here. So call in your angels and say, I need your help today. Please come down and take away whatever this thing is on me. If I am truly S-I-C-K, I want to be healthy. Please grant me health. I do not want to feel anxious. So come down. Did you notice how I didn't say the word S-I-C-K? Because I never say the word. Because I always say, I am healthy. So go there with all your affirmations today. I am healthy. I am fit. I am strong. I am calm. Okay? You may want to call in your angels and then you meditate. When you meditate, as to as a way of calming down, spell out the word calm. C-A-L-M. Now do it slower. C-A-L-M. Then do it even slower again. C A L M. Then you go slower and slower and slower. So it takes about 10 minutes to spell out the word calm, which is only four letters, right? Because our brain is creating the word that we spell through that repetition. The more we want calmness and the more we say calm, C A L M the more our body is creating it. Absolutely. The other thing that we can try, guys, is EFT tapping. I do have a video, so click on my name, Dr. Linda Kramer. Go through my video list. There's one down there called How EFT Tapping Works. Okay, basically, you find where you do your karate chop. Watch it. Uh, hurts my wrist because I've got a sprained wrist at this point. But it's about here on the hand. You just tap it lightly with your finger. Tap, 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 tap. This is connecting with our median lines or our lay lines in our body. Tap, tap, tap. Then you do the other one where you do a karate chop. Tap, 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 tap. We've got a little knob on our head just about here. I can feel it. it's a little indent. Tap, 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 tap. You only want to do it about 10 seconds worth. Tap, tap, tap. There's one here below our nose. Tap, 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 tap. Just here on our crease. There's one here just on our dimple or whatever you want to call it in under our chin. Tap, tap, tap in there. Tap, tap, tap in there. We've got some on our clavicle. Don't know the clavicle. It's these bones here that come down. You've got two little lumpies. Tap the little lumpies. Tap, 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 tap. <sighs> Go over to the other one. Tap, 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 tap. Under our armpit, where a bra strap would be, it's about a hand. So if you're in your armpit, go down a hand to here, which is there. And it's there where a bra strap would sit, and you just tap there. Tap, 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 tap. Do the other side. Tap, 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 tap. It makes us calm. It makes us relaxed. It makes us, makes us more focused. And it gets rid of all this cray-cray that's invading us. It's like an invasion, isn't it? Yeah? So I'm putting back on my gloves because I'm freezing. I love that um, thing about the cat. I wrote you a little song about my spiritual awakening. Ah! <laughs> or is it? Ah! <laughs> I hope you're all having a good day. Please know that you're not alone. Contact me or email below. My email's below. Comment below if this is happening to you as well. Like this video, even if it's just a like, because then nobody else knows who's liked it, right? So if you've had something weird happening, eh, 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 just remember I've got on the list moon phase, meteorite shower, comet, solar flares, 
Mercury in retrograde. Aliens are coming. E -e 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 -e. 5G or the photon belt. Is that the only suggestions? If you've got your own suggestion, let me know, okay? Let me know what's going on with all of yous because I love yous ultimately and because together, you know, you guys are all my tribe. I don't do this for the financial benefit. I just do this to, for the education, letting you guys know that you're not alone out there, okay? Love yous all and I'll talk to yous all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.